Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sangeeta Chaudhary again and I welcome everyone to my lecture class. In my today's class, I am going to discuss about the prevention of tuberculosis. It is not enough to know the treatment about tuberculosis, but we need to know about the preventive strategy as well because we all know that prevention is better than cure. So it is very, very important that we try to prevent the deadly disease that is tuberculosis. So in today's class, let's know about the preventive strategy. So there are certain target population and strategy for prevention. Why I said target population? It is not possible to give the preventive strategy or preventive medications for each and everyone and it is not necessary also so we need to set up a target population and in this group of population we need to give the preventive therapy so who are the target population and what are the strategy so among the target population there is people living with hiv human immunodeficiency virus causing aids they may or may not be on art ART means antiretroviral therapy. So people living with HIV AIDS may or may not be on antiretroviral therapy. Adults and children of 12 months of age, infants less than 12 months with HIV in contact with active tuberculosis. And household contacts below 5 years of age. Household contacts. HHC stands for household contact. So household contact below 5 years of age they should be given TPT after ruling out active tuberculosis disease. Okay, so TPT means tuberculosis preventive treatment or tuberculosis preventive therapy. So in these two group of patients, we need to give tuberculosis preventive therapy after we rule out the active tuberculosis disease. Why so? Because in tuberculosis preventive therapy, we may use single drug. So, if you, we are using single drug in a patient who is having active tuberculosis, then there is high chance of development of resistance against that single molecule or single drugs. So, that is why we need to rule out the active tuberculosis disease first and then we need to provide the preventive treatment or preventive therapy. Lastly, household contacts 5 years and above, okay, those who are in contact with pulmonary tuberculosis patients. For these group of patients, tuberculosis preventive treatment should be given among the tuberculosis infection positive after ruling out TB disease, okay. So, what do I mean by tuberculosis preventive treatment should be given among tuberculosis infection positive patient after ruling out the tuberculosis disease? That means infection, tuberculosis infection does not always mean that the patient is having tuberculosis disease. Anyone may be infected with the tubercle bacilli but not necessarily the patient um, should have developed the disease. So this is known as latent tuberculosis okay, or tuberculosis infection that is TBI. So in this third category of patients okay, or third category of population means those who are of 5 years of age and above and they have come in contact with the pulmonary tuberculosis patient, they should be given TPT that is preventive therapy after ruling out the active tuberculosis disease. Okay, And they should be TBI positive. Now, chest x-ray and tuberculosis infection testing should be offered wherever available but the preventive therapy must not be deferred in their absence so that is important if you are unable to do a chest x-ray or testing for tuberculosis infection they should not be denied of the tuberculosis preventive treatment now some other target population are those who are on immunosuppressive therapy those who have silicosis or anti-tumor necrosis factor treatment or those who are on dialysis and those who are preparing for organ or hematologic transplantations. So all of these, they fall in the category of immunocompromised uh, patients or those who are with, uh, you know, reduced immune function. In these group of patients, TPT after ruling out tuberculosis disease among TBI positive patients, okay, like the third category. I have discussed previously so tuberculosis preventive treatment should be given to these group of patients those who have tuberculosis infection but they have not developed the active disease yet 
okay just uh, one more thing i wanted to mention how to find out who has tuberculosis infection but not disease that is latent tuberculosis latent so how to identify who has uh, latent tuberculosis okay so uh, there are certain tests which we need to do to identify the latent tb infection or tuberculosis infection they are tuberculosis uh, tuberculin skin test okay skin test also known as mantos test skin test okay or also known as mantos test and the second one is interferon gamma release assay tests okay these are interferon gamma based assay so these are the two things we can do to identify if someone is infected with tuberculin bacilli or not right tuberculin skin test or mantos test and interferon gamma release assay now coming to the regimen for the prevention of tuberculosis so this is a uh, very important to know the tb preventive treatment so it depends it depends on the target population so people living with hiv as i have mentioned may or may not be on art adults and children more than 12 months of age infants less than 12 months with hiv in contact with active tb household contact below 5 years household contact 5 years and above okay or children or adult on immunosuppressive therapy silicosis nttnf treatment dialysis transplantation for these all this target population we have two regime okay we can use either of the regime one is shorter regimen that is 3 month regimen and the other one is longer regimen that is 6 month regimen in 3 month regimen we use weekly isoniazide and rifampicin in persons older than 2 years okay or we may use 6 months of daily isoniazide okay so in 3 months course we are using weekly isoniazide and rifampicin in persons older than 2 years and 6 months regimen we are using only isoniazide and we are using it daily okay so this is about the tuberculosis preventive treatment which is very important to know and very easy to remember as well so we need to find out not only the tuberculosis patient who already has developed the disease we need to find out those who may be benefited with the preventive treatment so we need to find out those group of people or those group of population and we definitely need to provide them with the preventive therapy okay thank you so much for attending my class i hope this was helpful thank you so much